Hello my YouTube and internet friends. My channel is all about showing you how you can do your art journaling, mixed media and crafting on a low budget. I make easy to follow process tutorial videos for art journaling and mixed media. On today's page you will see a fun watermark effect and also a simple technique using a mask that will give your page a dramatic effect and draws your attention immediately to your focal point. My name is Ilona, better known on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and WordPress as Pitcher for Life. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon to follow me on my creative journey. I'm all about keeping it simple. So join me for a new, fun and low budget mixed media project. Today's project is a really simple art journaling page. But since it's a 6x6 six six page, you can also turn this into a card. Have fun watching this easy to follow process tutorial video. I wanted to try out two techniques. For the first technique, I made a mask. I just cut out a circle out of packaging material. This mask is really handy because you can see through it. So when you put it on your project, you can really see where you want your mask to be. So you have your image in the middle. I started my card with a simple jelly plate background, but you can also do this just by blending some inks on your base. So far, you have seen me ink around the edges drop some drops of water on my paper. By the way, this is just normal copy paper. And the only thing I do here is sponge on different colors of distress ink from my mask onto my card and blend them together. That will give you the dramatic look that I was talking about. I went around the circle with a silver metallic pen. And the second technique is a revisit technique that I did years ago. With this technique you can create a watercolor effect on your pages. You can create a watercolor effect on your pages. You can create a watercolor effect on your pages. Now for the watermark technique. You spritz your stamp with a really fine mist and then stamp. Let your stamp rest on your paper for a little while so the water can soak into the paper. And then take it off. It can be that you don't see that much in the beginning, but when you just leave it, the water will do its work. And the amount of water you use is really important because as you see later, I have some images that 
really bled out because I used too much water. I have also some that are really light where I used too little water. You just have to play a little to see what works the best. After doing my watermark stamping all around my page, I went back with the same colors ink that I used before to stamp the same stamp or parts of the same stamp in my border. And I've tried to match the colors with the colors from the background. So if you like to see more low budget mixed media and art channeling, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon so you know when I upload a new video. You can also follow me on Facebook, Instagram and I have a blog on WordPress. Thank you so much back with my next video. Don't forget to subscribe.